Hey there, Cancer. I hope you guys are doing really great. I would like to go ahead and get into your reading for the month of September 2021. And I've been doing a bit of meditation before each of the signs, and I want to go ahead and express to you what came through for you. Um, there was a very, very resounding energy between you and a person and it also could be a situation in your life or a job situation, but this felt like a person. And this is more so about like recognizing and acknowledging your connection with each other or perhaps one person towards the other and taking things to the next stage, taking things to the next level. So it was very heavy and about like acknowledging and moving forward here. So let's go ahead and shuffle a bit. I'm going to do a nine card spread for you. Show me for the sign of Cancer. September 2021, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Cancer, please. Cross watchers are always welcome. Two more. Okay, Cancer. So first card out we have is the King of Pentacles. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. <clears throat> In regard to connections with a person, this is a very stable connection. It's somebody that can also have a lot of financial abundance, security. It can be somebody who owns their own business. This is somebody that takes care of themselves. They're very much connected to the practical, mundane, sometimes, you know, uh, materialistic world, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's It brings a sense of security here. Um, as far as, like, feelings towards a person and stuff of that nature, it's somebody that is very intentional in how they um, cultivate and safeguard a connection. Knight of Swords, Air Sign Energy, Libra, Aquarius... <clears throat> Libra, Aquarius, um, Gemini, you know, it, a lot of communication, but it's, it's honest communication, getting to the heart of the matter. If somebody is, you know, being very honest about their, their dedication to you or wanting to take something to the next level, even if this is not an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the King of Pentacles denotes somebody who is very stable in their intention and their offers. This is honest communication from them. The Knight of Swords is about honesty and bringing truth to a situation, even if it is uncomfortable to talk about. I don't know. There's there's some element here of acknowledging this connection. So I don't know if this was somebody that like kind of kept you at arm's distance or it doesn't feel like that. It feels like somebody that's been involved with you, but maybe they've been uncomfortable to move forward or to take it to the next level. It's not because you're a bad person or you're not valuable. It's just they may they may also be very involved in their work, you know. Um, either way, there's an element here of needing to communicate something truthful here. The Wheel of Fortune, beautiful energy. So the Wheel of Fortune is about luck, positivity, new things coming into your life, new experiences here with the Wheel of Fortune. It talks about having the right people in your situations, you know, things looking up for the better. So very positive energy here, okay? Change. We have the Seven of Wands coming through here. This can be a little bit of anxiety. It's under the King of Pentacles here. So, you know, if, if we're needing to acknowledge a connection, this may be somebody that's been a bit on the fence about something, um, you know, and, and it, it's, it comes from anxiety. It comes from needing to look at a situation from all angles so they can feel secure. This is, it seems like a matter of security versus, you know, like or love. It's more like a personal sense of security issue. <clears throat> you have the Page of Swords here, so under the Knight of Swords, so <laughs> maybe a situation where a person might have, it's, this is going to be the center of this reading, so if it is the center of this reading, it can talk about somebody who maybe they've excelled in making their own business or careers, or, you know, they're very, very, um, stable in their life in so many ways, but perhaps their communication is a little immature. Perhaps they don't know how to communicate fully with somebody, um, you know, but this is also, this can talk about brainstorming ideas, having a back and forth dialogue with somebody here with the Knight of Swords, very intent to communicate here. Either way, 
with this energy presenting itself, Seven of Wands, Page of Swords, this tells me that there is anxiety when it comes to communication, even if it's small communication. The moon, emotional disturbance, emotional frustration, not being able to see a situation for what it is. And that's kind of what I'm picking up here. <clears throat> It goes back to the sense of security, Cancer, where you're dealing with somebody who they deal in a very practical world. There is a very practical way that life moves, and this is how they deal with it. When you get to the moon energy, this is, a, this is your and Pisces energy, the moon. Um, it is Pisces, but I, as a reader, I see this as you. There's a lot of ebbs and flows and tides and swells, and there's a lot of connection to the moon. You're ruled by the moon energy. <clears throat> so with this, this can be, it can be, it can throw somebody off when their whole world is about practical, mundane reality, materialistic, you know, the practical, tactical, this is how it is and this is how it works. And when they get emotions, especially when connecting with a cancer, things can get flooded, things can get a little bit out of range for them, it can be uncomfortable, and so it's like if we have, it almost feels like this person, they're present, good things are about to happen, or good things have been happening in this connection, but it's like addressing the internal struggle when it comes to communicating situations with a person, or with you, um, addressing those things, you know, and that may also affect their ego as well a little bit, just because they don't want to seem like they don't have their shit together, you know? Let me take a little sip of tea real quick. Sometimes emotions and vulnerability can be very difficult for people to express. They get their guard up. Queen of Cups, there you are. I mean, literally. <laughs> so, yeah. You know, this, this energy, I mean, completely what I'm talking about here, like, there is a deep soul resonance or some sort of connection here where it's like, we feel the connection, but we're hesitant to engage in it further, or we need to look at it from all angles to get a different position and understanding of it. This King of Pentacles with the, the Seven of Wands and the Queen of Wands, it's like sandwiched between you. There's a distance here, and, you know, it doesn't mean this person doesn't love you, but there's an emotional distance here. This is, as far as, like, action is concerned, the actions that this person is taking is one of resistance to a certain degree, and it feels like that is literally brought up because of immature communication styles or immature emotional at attachments. The Four of Pentacles coming through here, holding off, not making a decision, you know, still, still keeping yourself kind of reserved. Uh, that seems to be playing out in this reading quite a bit. Um, feels like it'll change, I do hope, but, you know, it just, it's addressing things. Um, okay, so I'm hearing, okay, <laughs> so I'm hearing, like, why, it's almost as if somebody, like, said something that, like, they're, they're trying to justify not taking something to the next level, like, can't we just have it this way, or, like, can we, do we have to, like, push forward, does it have to be more right now? It's, it's almost as if, like, somebody trying to, like, justify taking it very, very slow or, like, not engaging into icky emotional territory. And, like, you're a cancer. You're all about the emotional territory. So it's, it's a unique juxt juxtaposition with this sign, especially if it is an earth sign. And the thing about that is, cancer, you can bring an earth sign out of themselves in a very nice way. Earth and water play very nicely together. There's a lot of potential for that element combination to grow. There's growth there, um, you know, so just be conscious here. And if this is a Capricorn that you're dealing with, Cancer, um, there may be kind of like a clashing of wills here as well, two cardinal signs. It's a little bit, it can be a little bit tough just because both parties have very distinct understanding of what they feel things should be, how it should be. That can be difficult, especially when it comes to this, the, I'm hearing sensibility, the sensible foundations of somebody who does not express or emote as much as they think and do. You know, they're doers, they're, they're thinkers, they, they get to the bottom of things. They don't express, they don't feel. I mean, they do feel, but like it's, you live in a very different world, Cancer. This energy is, it's kind of polar opposite, but also works well together. Outcome, the Hierophant. So this energy, yes, it can talk about commitments. Yes, it can talk about tradition. 
This is a very traditional energy here as well. Let's flip this over. Okay, Eight of Pentacles, beautiful. Um, you know, working for what you want, working for the connection here. This can talk about tradition, religion, foundations, family, um, you know, family values as well, traditional values. But I do want to say here too, most readers are going to say, oh my God, the Hierophant, you're going to get married. And sure, you could get married if this is where it leads to. You know, this is, this reading does, you know, what I meditated, it talked about moving things to the next level, going to the next stages in your relationship, like feeling that out. But it was about feeling it out, you know. And so with this Hierophant, there's an element of kind of keeping some distance as well. There's a healthy distance there. It doesn't mean you just jump into something. There's a healthy distance here for somebody. And so it's like, I feel there's an opening to the expression of energy or emotions. It's like somebody is making themselves more available to experience emotions here, but it's not their first love language. It's not something that they're connect. They don't connect with that immediately. It's not their go-to. Whereas cancer, that might be your go-to and you're very good at it. So with you being good at it, take the time to help this person's emotions ease and heal and walk them through this. Talk to them. You know, let it let it blossom, let it grow. Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck running ruling all of this. So what this is talking about is this is dedication. This is taking your time in a situation, cultivating something with your effort and your energy to make it good. You know, if this is a work situation, you know, wonderful. I feel this is a romantic situation. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and clarify this reading. Show me energy for the sign of cancer. Show me the king of pentacles here for cancer, please. You have your card, Cancer, the Chariot, <laughs> um, and also the Four of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, okay? The Four of Pentacles is right there. So this person, through communication comes movement for them, but it is slow. It is slow in the making here, okay, Cancer? For the Chariot to show up, this only happens. The Chariot moves. Like, I, I don't have the regular rider weight with me, but if you remember the chariot card, it has the rider and then it has the sphinx, two sphinx in the front. One is black, one is white. And it's about that integration between the two. So without that balance, nothing moves forward. But when it does move forward, oh, heaven help you, it's a wonderful gift. The chariot is about positivity wishes being fulfilled, opportunities that are for you coming into fruition. It's wonderful. It's a wonderful, successful card. And this can also talk about somebody who's very successful in their business as well, okay? <clears throat> Show me the Knight of Swords here. You have the Knight of Pentacles coming out with the Knight of Swords here. And at the bottom of the deck, the King of Swords. So what this is telling me, Cancer, is that this person is somebody that is very logical. They are not ruled by their emotions. They are very, very discerning when it comes to how they engage in situations. And so you're going to need to be very, very patient with this person as they process a situation. But the nice thing about the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles is that this is also very, very honest communication about how... I would like to move something forward, how I would like to go and take this to the next level. It comes with a very good amount of stability here. Um, might be a bit cold. This person may be a little bit cold and detached from their feelings, but that's kind of what I'm talking about, you know, with the King of Swords there at the bottom of the deck. Very logical, though. And this is somebody that doesn't just jump in and, like, do it for the emotions. This is somebody that can, you know, kind of, like, look at... Uh, like, they look at the relationship as if it's, like, a map, and they can plan ahead. These, this is a planner. Whomever I'm talking about is a planner. Very, very good. Show me the Wheel of Fortune here for Cancer, please. So for the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Ace of Wands, bottom of the deck, Judgment here, Cancer. 
somebody is making decisions moving forward, positivity. This is new opportunities, new change, you know. Um, I don't want to say throwing caution to the wind, but definitely letting an opportunity have its moment in the sun, you know, allowing something to be playful, enjoyable, enjoyed. Um, very, very excited energy, and this can also be a very passionate lovemaking as well between you and this person. Um, <clears throat> but with that judgment here, it's telling me that this this situation is being accepted into a reality. It's being cultivated into reality. So very, very good. Show me the Seven of Wands here in the situation for Cancer. Yeah, you have the Hierophant here, and you've got Death at the bottom of the deck, Hierophant ending, or the outcome. So, again, there. this person may have... <laughs> I literally heard stick up their butt. Um, <laughs> but it's not in a bad way. It's not like, I don't feel like this person is malicious or terrible. It just feels like they're like hyper reserved. With the death card though, it indicates that there is a transformation here, a changing of the situation towards something new. The Hierophant, if this person is getting involved with you, or this is somebody that you've been, I feel like this is a connection that's moving forward. <clears throat> this person is more so focused on stability, foundation, and marriage. I'm going to say that. I don't like saying marriage in readings just because people get all like, you know, wide-eyed and just, I don't know, too many readings on the internet are like, yes, you're going to fall in love and you're going to get married. I'm like, really? Like, how many times have you watched readings and you're still alone? Like, I, I say that, you know, I don't mean to be harsh in that way, but like, every time you see the Hierophant, it means you're going to get married. Come on, you know? Um... But here, this person, it feels like there's some anxiety when it comes to, like, making sure that this decision is made correctly and in the right way. Um, because if it is to lead to anything, it's going to lead to a very stable foundation here. And that's literally everything I'm picking up here. But it's worth the energy. With the Queen of Cups here, Cancer, this is your energy. This person has a lot of stabilizing factors to them. Not to say that you're not stable, but they have something that you don't have. And I don't know what that is, but there's a, it's like you balance each other out. There's a yin and a yang here that is very, very complementary, And I think that it's important for things to go accordingly as this per, I, I don't know. It's like things need to go accordingly. So I'm like picking up the energy of this person. Like things need to fit in the box. This person needs structure throughout how this goes. And that's not bad. It's just maybe different for you. I would think it would be more uh, like settling for you, more comfortable for you. Because when you know your partner is of that mindset, like it kind of lets you relax. Show me the Page of Swords. They're like a doer, a fixer. They make things happen. Show me the Page of Swords. You have the Four of Wands. Yeah, I mean, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, shit. And the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, if this is going towards any type of, like, true foundation for the potential for marriage or deeper connection, even if it's not marriage, it's literally, like, maybe we're moving in together. Maybe we're, like, creating some sort of true foundation here that we can base this relationship on. This is moving in together, getting married. It can talk with the Hierophant here. You know, Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups, Chariot. <laughs> like, there's a lot of opportunity being presented um, <clears throat> you know, and so it's telling me that this may be difficult for this person to express with that page of swords. And there also may be an element where this person is kind of like concerned about the fine print, you know, because it's not just that this person's stable, that is an element throughout their life. So they're also going to apply it to relationships, you know, the practical aspects of a relationship.